All right, welcome or welcome back, everyone. Got the Mechanical Music Box Airplane Control Tower from Rocker today. It is, uh, I'm hoping it goes around up and down as the music plays. Looks like it. I sort of, I sort of like the mechanical moving ones. I think they're sort of fun to deal with. Like seeing the engineering behind it. What is this? It's a uh, 255 pieces, level four out of five stars, which I found that doesn't really mean anything. Uh, let's see. Done that one, done that one. I've done one sort of like that one. <laughs> that one I'm still thinking about. Yeah, it says lifting cantilever, so it must be... Yeah, cool. But, anyways, that's a... Uh, let's pop these open and see what I've got myself into, as usual. I had a cousin that said that she did this one for Christmas, probably a year before last. Because they had, they'd, they had come over and decorated my Christmas tree and saw some of the ones that I had out already and decided they wanted to give it a shot. So they that was one of their deals. But let's see. Yeah, open and now let's. Oh, it is a pop open from the top. <laughs> Got our music box. Do appear to have gotten a functional one this time. Not broken. <laughs> for those of you who are around for my Christmas time book nook, got a oh, poster, naturally. Not a very thick stack of them this time. And a teeny tiny screwdriver. I'm assuming that's a shim. Screws, nuts, bolts, drives, wax. And that's all that's in that one. Put all that stuff back in there so I remember where it's at when I need it. <laughs> Which way did you go in? Like that? I don't know. And uh, let's see. Poster. There's another one of those badly folded posters. Got got a line right through the middle of the picture. <laughs> but let's see. Well, actually, it does have steps. Let's see if they're arbitrary steps as they usually are. <laughs> That doesn't look. They all look reasonable. None of them are crazy long. It doesn't look like like eight's got a bunch of it, but it looks like it may be a sim. Is a, that's a sim one, the airplane. So we might. Oh yeah, you got to do that three times. <laughs> so that'll eight's gonna be its own step. It looks like. Well, but then you just evidently just hop it on. So maybe eight and nine one day. But yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. Let's pop our pieces open and take a look at those. This has come in handy just the other day. Somebody was asking me about a piece, and I was able to find it <laughs> on the stills. Okay. There's our sandpaper. And let's see if we can get a good look at everything. Okay, good. And okay. A. B. Our accordion things. You know, my, the bane of my existence on these set models. I, I don't, I've only broken a couple of them, but they, they still worry me every time I see them. <laughs> There's more accordion things. <laughs> and D, I'd say that's probably airplanes because that looks like a whole lot of pieces for one sheet. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all. Like I said, only four sheets. So yeah, this one should be a fairly quick build, I hope. Famous last words, as always. But uh, I'll pull out the parts for first step and go from there. And I'll be right back with that. Okay, here we go. All the pieces to step one laid out, ready to go. I forgot to sand the inside of that, but that's that's way on the inside, so I'm going to let it go. I sanded the rest of them <laughs> and the outside. But, without any further ado, the build begins. Let's see. You and 
these guys. These. They're very similar. These are a little bit thicker and they got rectangles instead of squares. Uh, that's the differences I've been able to find. So obviously the rectangles go with the rectangles and the squares go with the squares. I think the easiest way to do it is to go through that first. And that second. Easier, I guess. All right. Yep, that seemed to be the way to go. <laughs> okay, I gotta sand it. I just saw that thing, this jagged, I was like, never gonna be seen again, but I just don't want it there. <laughs> At least uh, there is a third one. Okay. Now, these guys. And they are, according to the picture, supposed to be parallel. All these must run the same direction. pressure directly on the top because that, <laughs> that was sort of flexy on that bottom flimsy I guess the more appropriate word things my dad taught when mounting a tire sort of tighten them up crisscross style of course there's only three of them so it's sort of hard to crisscross but <laughs> gradually tighten all three of them down so they the screwdriver is a bit small for this but I don't have a bigger one handy <laughs> on there though. All right. Now, bring these two in. Go. Let's see, you got like that. So we want this extra sticky part to go that way. Yeah, because if you did it that way, it would stick over. No, it wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but we don't want... I'm double-checking myself. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> mm. Preview of the song. <laughs> okay, and that's done. We'll take this guy. Right down the middle here, sort of lock everything in place, I believe. Okay, yeah, it's got a space for that screw. Yeah, the screw does 
go underneath there. Now, okay, goes into the feet into that. Slide you over, lock you in place. Nope. And okay, so these are just feet for the bottom of it. Okay. <laughs> I assume it's the bottom. It looks like it's the only place in the picture that's big enough. <laughs> okay. Now I'll set you aside for the moment. Get these guys. And <coughs> let's see. <laughs> eh, thought I had a slightly bigger screwdriver, but it's just sitting just the same one. Let me dig one out. <laughs> mm -hmm. <Yep. laughs> All right. Yeah, much better, I think. Okay, so. Okay, so it's got a little protrusion there to line it up with the center. And we get our screws in. I think. It only came with one kind of screw, it's got to fit. <laughs> I'm going to actually finish up step one because <laughs> all I've got to do is put this plate on so I can do that hopefully before my battery dies because I'm getting the ugly battery symbols. <laughs> it hadn't turned red yet so maybe it'll... What's am I doing that? Nope. Did it backwards. Got the, got the wide slot. <laughs> wide slot and a narrow slot to go on there so that will work better if you do it the right way. Alright, down, and that concludes step one, so I'm going to step aside, grab the parts for step two, and continue. I'll be right back with that. Alright, here we go, all the, everything for step two in a neat little row, I think should have one unit when it is all said and done after this uh, so might be a good place to stop we'll see this shouldn't take too long <laughs> let's see just 
straightforward to start with them. That one and these three guys with the arrows on them, it says to <coughs> put them in with the arrows going up. There you go. Looks like it's no, it's supposed to go all the way down. Uh, in goes on whoop, down on these. Hmm. Hmm. That one is not cooperating. Okay, there it went. I think. Gently but firmly. <laughs> okay. Nice and smooth all the way around. He does have a notation to make sure it's not wobbly. <laughs> okay. Uh, went too quick. Not ready to flip yet. <laughs> Gotta do this too. It goes on the top. It's supposed to go all the way down. There it goes. Once again, gently but firmly. <laughs> now they're nice and flush. Okay. Now I'm ready to flip over. <laughs> Okay, put you aside for the moment. Get this, these guys together. Together. And B3 goes up from the bottom. you into there. And bring these guys in. friction point so that means we need some of my Impressa with blueprint. That's just the first one I picked up that <laughs> came up on Amazon. I think I'm, I've said it before I'm pretty sure it's just Vaseline. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more blended or something. But get you in there nice and lubed up because it's like I said it's a high friction area. I want to make sure there's plenty of grease in there. It actually says to wax this too, but I'm going to wait until I've got a surface <laughs> contact problem there. So, and the tall one goes up, so this goes into here. Move you around, spread the, spread the grease. rubbing on these things. <laughs> so, let me, while I'm greasing, let me hit these things too. <laughs> sort of 
preventative preparing ahead for what's to come. Okay, third trusy charm. I don't think it was going to rub, but it won't hurt to have that on, on there to smooth things over. And da -da -da. while we're greasing, don't want to do do the teeth as well. And let's do let do it this way. Nope, I could not do it that way. <laughs> Got them all. <laughs> okay. <coughs> now, this guy. Oh, we got to do lock in place with that one. <laughs> all right. Now we bring our first piece back in. And oh, before I forget, I need to. Up the gear wheel, too. I guess it's a good time as any to preview the, <laughs> the songs so I can get to the access to the rest of the. It's a small world after all. When I was a kid, and my folks took me to Disney World, and we went on this ride. At that point, I was so miserable, I was just glad to be sitting down, and I think it seems like it was reasonably air conditioned. <laughs> All right, now, now finally, these got our thin notch and our thin, and our thin slot and our thick slot. So just. On the ends. <laughs> One last flourish for the <laughs> small world. And here it is. And there it goes. And the gears appear to be lined up in there. And let's make sure it's spinning. Yeah. Yep, spinning up here, so that <coughs> looks pretty smooth in there. That'll be... You know what, I'm looking at it, step three is not that bad. So I'm going to go ahead and do step three tonight. And uh, get the first of the accordions out of the way. <laughs> Alright, so I'll be right back with step three. And we will continue from there. Okay, like I said, not many pieces, so this should be, if all goes well, a quick step. But I do have the accordions. <laughs> Nervous. And let's see here. I'm trying to see which way is up. Because I've got, got shaded and clean. Don't know. I don't guess it. Okay. Okay. There's a mark. The mark on that one. Ah, there's a mark here. So 
so it goes in that one. And okay, there's the marking on that one. A dash and goes there. So that, I'm assuming that means that's where it looks like these are just supposed to slide. Whoop. I'm sort of started maybe. If there's no. Hang on. They did not line up. Hang on. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That's not good. <laughs> Pop that off. Do all that work. <laughs> One second. No, whoop. That won't flip because that's going to be lined up wrong. This may take longer than I thought it would. Okay, hang on. Get you. Here's lined up, I think. It's going to end up being the. So, this one's going to have to move. Can I move just the ring? Can I do that without? Well, let's see, it's not. Okay, it's not a major issue to disassemble that. Hang on, let's see here. Yeah, just pop that back there. Can I do that? No. Okay, so you there. Now. <coughs> small enough but I think where's my get okay yeah, that's gonna be wedgeable Still not lined up though. Is this? Hmm. Did I just take them off and put them back on the same way? <laughs> yeah, that. I've got to These are straight. Yeah, that's not. Okay. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. <laughs> I want you to be with you and you and you. Okay. different now. <laughs> this didn't work. I'm going to just take a break and figure out what I did wrong. In there. Yeah, they are not lined up. That would... Maybe go... No, it's got to be that way because that's got to wear the... Shouldn't be an issue. <laughs> Is there any? No, what? Those don't. This don't move. Those don't move. Now do it. This shouldn't have been able. Should not have been able to do that wrong. 
These are <laughs> I keep taking this apart and put together. I'm gonna have to break it down and get some glue out because that's okay. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I want, I want it to end up, that won't, okay, like that. Okay, so I want the ones there that on the ends. <laughs> Put this on. I can figure this out backwards. Okay, and I want I forgot where it was. Okay, I want them like that. Okay. I figured it out. <laughs> That's upside down. Now, put those on here, here. Okay. Now we're lined up. Okay. That took far too long to figure out. <laughs> we're locked in. So now, back to where we were, what, seven minutes ago? And my marks here. Dash, dash, up there. Now you're supposed to go from there and down into that one. And those two there. Stretch it out. Mm -hmm. Pressure there, maybe. Around. circle. So just go same way but backwards. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Popped out. I think it's yeah. Established. It looks nice, pretty smooth. You can see the brakes, but you really gotta look for them. <coughs> okay, now what else am I doing here? Supposed to take this guy onto the middle, I think. Go all the way down. Or not yet we're gonna go all the way down, so that means lube around here. I'm about to put some, those other gears on there, so I'm, uh, I'm pretty much can hit most of this plate, I think. <laughs> and, um, Oh, 
I know y'all can't see it, but it's rising up a little bit. It's not. I'm sure once I get a little weight on top of it, that'll hold it down flush. But otherwise, that's going to be enough for us tonight. Like I say, this last section is a little bit dramatic. I don't know. Go back and look. See it. Okay. It said there's a blank side on this thing, but I do not see any indication that it's blank or marked either way. <laughs> there might have been something underneath one of the things, but that's it does say to use the blank side on that, so it could have been me. But anyway, folks, that's enough of that. After all the, the trouble with the string tying yesterday, this, this, this was a nice reprieve. So I'm glad I picked this project. I got a Got a book nook lined up after this one, so I'd say this ought to be no more than three or four days, and we'll move on into another book nook, and that'll be fun as well. Uh, but otherwise, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, complain, share. Do whatever you want to with all that. Be good to one another. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.